guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah and I'm the mom with muscle. And in today's video, we are talking about the newest items that have been added to mickeyandco.com. So if this is something you're interested in watching, just keep on watching. But if you haven't already though, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You know to hit that bell button for every time I upload a video. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, I would love to have you over at mom with muscle. Without further ado, let's get into this. Thing. All right, so the first item that really stood out to me when I was shopping her website was this beautiful cement footed bowl. Now it is a little bit costly. It is priced at $82, but I think this bowl is so beautiful. I love it because it's very short. It's squatty. It has a rusted and kind of rugged type feel. It's a gray concrete with scuffs and dings. It's definitely telling a story. It's supposed to look worn. It's supposed to look used. I think you can pair this in any home decor style, which I do want to state about Shea McGee. I think anything that she brings to even Target and her website. A lot of it is rather neutral. It can definitely go with a lot of home decor styles. So I love that her decor is universal. And I just thought this was really, really beautiful. It is on the smaller side. The dimensions on this are 11 and a half inches deep by seven and a half inches high. So it is a smaller bowl, but this could definitely be used as a layering piece. You could pair it with a taller vase, some coffee table books. I just thought that was really beautiful, very neutral. And it just, it tells a story, which I actually really appreciate. So that was kind of the first item that I wanted to talk about. Now the second item are, there's actually two items. Two and three are very much, very similar. So this item is the Fabra woven tray. It comes in a small, a medium, and a large. The small is priced at 35, the medium is 40, and the large is 45. Now I absolutely love trays, especially right now as we are in spring and summertime. I think it just screams the season. It brings warmth, it brings a texture, and you really cannot go wrong having Having enough trays in your house for styling purposes for bringing some adding some texture to any type of style if you want to style this on your coffee table or an ottoman it's so universal and I really do love one thing about this tray is I love the protruding handles I really love that for some character it just has this like really beautiful woven weave that feels relaxed and organic I just love this and I love that it does come in a small medium and a large so if you wanted to do a layering you could I love doing layering I think it just adds a little bit more dimension to a style so you could even do like the small medium together or the medium and large depending on how you want to style it but I absolutely loved this tray and that was kind of the second item that I wanted to talk about now the third item is a round version the only really big difference between these two trays obviously See the shape for one but the round has internal handles the whereas the rectangular had external handles i personally love the external handles a little bit more than the internal but that's just my preference this does come in a small a medium and a large your small is 30 your medium is 40 and your large is 50. again you're adding warmth you're adding a beautiful relaxed woven organic feel i love the shape of it you could use this next to your uh, stove even you could have all your things housed in it for like your olive oil decanter your salt and pepper if you wanted to bring some warmth maybe to your kitchen you could use this on a coffee table an ottoman the way to style this is endless and i really love bringing this type of kind of woven rattan and wicker to my house for warmth and texture during this type of season so that is third item on my now the fourth item is this beautiful handcrafted linen book. It does come in a small and a medium. The small is priced at $32 and the medium is priced at $40. It does come in two colorways. You have white and then you also have natural, which is really, really beautiful. I can see the natural if you have maybe like white shelvings to have some contrast between the shelf itself and the decor. Bringing in that natural book would look really beautiful styled. I love that it is simple. You're not competing with any logos, you know, or any crazy spines. It's just a really great layering piece to any sideboard or any shelving unit. It's just gonna add some warmth, touch, and texture to any style that you pair it with. And I just thought these were really, really beautiful. So that was the next item on my list. The next item is this set of three marble cylinder pillars. The dimensions on these guys are the small is two inches by two inches high. The medium is two inches by three inches high and the large is two inches by four inches high. Now this is priced at $42. You are getting a set of three for $42. Obviously, you guys know I love marble. I think anything that marble just screams very luxe. It's I love bringing in stone and anything raw like that. It's really just very beautiful and very simple. It's a neutral color, so it will go with any home decor style, but I've actually been getting really into bringing in candle pillars as a way to style. Like I have the ones behind me. I don't have actual candlesticks in them. I think we're seeing a lot of this, whereas like you don't necessarily need a candlestick in it in order to style these. I think they are beautiful as a standalone moment. This would be another 
another kind of moment like that. You could just style these pillars as is with no candles in them, or if you wanted, you could put them for its intended purpose. But I think these are super beautiful. I love marble, they're clean, they're elegant, and who doesn't love beautiful marble candle pillars? So that was the next item on my list. All right, the next item, I love these. I'm really getting into bringing in some more warmth into my home. Like I said, I do have the wicker trays, and I'm just trying to style a little bit more with warmth. I do have browns in my house, which I love. I have my beams above me, and I've just been really kind of gravitating towards bringing in a little bit more warmth and a little bit more greens into my house. I love these. These are their sandy terracotta pots. They come in three different sizes. The small is 68, the medium is 98, and the large is 118. They just have so much texture and just so much character on the exterior. I love them paired, honestly, all three together. You could have a rosemary, an oregano, uh, some lavender. Like I would definitely play off of having different types of plants in each pot and style them as a pair of three. I just love that idea. I'm pretty sure these are an indoor pot or you could have these maybe on a patio on a, in like a covered area, but these are super beautiful. They're airy, they're dense, and they're available in three different sizes. Like I said, the small, the medium, and the large. And honestly, I could just see them just having three different types of plants styled in them. They're so beautiful, and I love the warmth and the texture. So the small is 18 inches by nine inches high, the medium is 11 by 12 inches high, and the large is 14 by 16 inches high. So those are the dimensions on that. And the material is a terracotta, which I absolutely love. So that was the next item. All right, so this next item you guys might think is kind of random, but when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. I could like totally picture this in like a little girl's room. It is this beautiful floral wallpaper. I love the colors. I love how elegant and kind of feminine it is. You could, I could honestly see this in a powder bath. I just, I don't know why I gravitated towards it. So this is a rather new wallpaper on her website. It is priced at $124 and that's gonna give you 56.4 square feet of square footage. Uh, the dimensions are 24 inches wide. It's embossed printed. I don't know why, I just really loved this and I could totally see this in a beautiful little girl's room. It's neutral, it's feminine, it's sophisticated. I just, I loved this. So I had to talk about it because I didn't even know she had wallpaper on her website until I, like I said, I was kind of putzing around and kind of came across this as a new item on her website. Love the color, love the texture, love the pattern. It's just really, really very elegant. So that was the next item. So the next item is this beautiful vintage stone bowl. I actually think I have two or three of them I have. Where is it? I have currently one behind me. I think these bowls add so much texture to any space. They are in kind of a natural stone. They have natural patina, they're very organic. They are in her vintage collection, so her vintage collection tends to be a little bit pricier. Like I said, these are priced at $60, but one thing cool about these bowls, not every single bowl is going to be the same. They are all different, so if you were to order two, nine times out of 10, they're not going to look identical, which is really cool. You could use this for a mortar if you wanted. You could use this as a standalone moment. You could add some beads in there. There's a lot of ways that you could style these bowls. And I personally love vintage. I love bringing in something texture like this. It is heavy. There's weight behind it. It's just a very, very beautiful, beautiful bowl. So these are awesome. Again, these are in her vintage section. And that was the next item that I wanted to talk about. All right, the second to last items I wanted to talk about were these beautiful brass metal boxes. They come in two different sizes, a small and a large. The small is priced at $62, which is a little bit steep, and the large is 72. Now, I don't know how heavy these are. I don't know if they're like kind of flimsy or if they actually have some good weight behind them. I know I always talk about that, but I think that says a lot about an item. Like if it's heavy when you lift it up, I think that just tells you how luxe it is and what good quality it is. Now. Again, I don't know the weight of these, so I can't really tell. It is a little bit pricier, but I think these are great for bringing in warmth. The brass does not look cheap by any means. It's definitely like a deep, beautiful brass instead of a yellow brass, which tends to make um, a space look a little bit cheaper in my opinion. Let's see the dimensions on these. The small is a six by six by three and a half, and the large is an eight and a half by eight and a half by three and a half. Brass finish, metal box, straightforward and bold. Their simple lid, gently curved edges are available in two different sizes. I think those are beautiful. They have them styled underneath a nightstand. These could be used on a open shelving moment, on a sideboard, 
very universal again i love the fact that shea brings decor very universal across the board so that was the second to last item that i wanted to talk about so the next item are a series of three botanical artworks they are in a walnut frame with a beautiful mat the actual botanicals are very beautiful whereas the color of the botanicals actually match the exterior of the frame which i really love it's just a very monochromatic moment that i love it's very simple it's very elegant very delicate these are a 20 by 24 in um, dimensions they are priced at 325 like i said which is a little bit steep they are beautiful though i definitely think this could be kind of a fun diy to be honest i think someone could definitely replicate this if you did love the look of this i could see this styled in like a powder bath maybe a series of two or a series of three depending on the dimensions of your actual bathroom but it's very delicate very minimal and I just thought they were beautiful. So that was kind of the last item that I wanted to talk about. All right, you guys, and that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sound off in the comments. What do you guys think of the newest items added to her website? This is just skimming the surface. There are a bunch of things that she added to her website. A lot of them were a little bit overpriced, hence why I didn't want to talk about them. They were all very beautiful, but I kind of just picked my 10 favorites that I found on her website. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. Aramegi Co. is not something I shot very frequently, but like I said, I was putzing around the other night, came across across all these beautiful items and figured let's talk about it. So that is it for today's video. I love you so much. And until next time, we'll see you then. Peace.